Professor Sienna, thank yes. you so much for coming on to eCancer TV and telling us about your study. Mm -hmm. Your study and lots of other people, because yes. I know that uh, it's, a, it's a very It's large, a global study. And it's a very important study. Mm -hmm. um, we're in Nice, and uh, we're at the uh, European Multidisciplinary Colorectal Cancer Group, oh, right. and uh, it's a very good program. And yes. there were two studies uh, on pamitumumab, yes. and uh, uh, your one was... Um, you know, panitumumab is a new monoclonal antibody. It is a targeted against uh, a, a molecular determinant of metastatic colorectal cancer cells yeah. and uh, has been tested in two big, two large uh, clinical trials in the first line uh, uh, therapy setting of metastatic colorectal cancer and in the second line setting of metastatic colorectal cancer. I have presented the results of the first line. Sure. Uh, therapy. Uh, and that was with trial. Folfox? Yeah. So what we did was very simple. We combined the standard chemotherapy for Fox 4 and co compared in two arms uh, with or without panitumumab. And the, re the results were in favor of panitumumab. Uh, what is interesting to me is that uh, in a subset of patients uh, that are those patients whose tumor have KRAS wild type tumors, so without uh, genetic alterations of the KRAS oncogene, the uh, overall survival is 4.2 months in favor of those patients receiving panitumor. It is quite good if we consider That's that the survival of metastatic colorectal cancer patients is yeah. approaching the, the overall survival, the median overall survival is approaching two years, but so four years, four months. Is 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a remarkable uh, improvement. Mm -hmm. And there was an interesting uh, comment you made at your talk about the uh, the mutated yes. uh, KRAS group. Yes. It did look there as if there was a there was an, a shift of the uh, of the survivor curves, in, which was not in favor of pamitumumab. Oh yes, and oh, we know okay. that that's right. We, that's we know that this drug needs yes. that's, the, the, uh, ra the RAS to be there and the EGFR to be there. That's a very important finding yeah. because uh, it is now very clear that uh, if patients have tumors with uh, KRAS muta mutations, they have uh, a detrimental and adverse detrimental outcome if they are treated with oxaliplatinum containing chemotherapy. Wow. So by a diagnostic molecular tool, by a diagnostic molecular assay, we can uh, uh, skip, we can avoid detrimental side effects and detrimental outcome. And this is quite important. It means uh, it can be better for the others not having that mutation. And uh, the patients who do not have this mutation are 60%. So it's not a rare mutation, no. uh, and those patients can benefit from the combination of panitumumab and uh, chemotherapy are 60%. And those who have a detrimental effect are 40%. It means that in the clinical setting, if we can avoid a 40% detrimental effect, that's no. really remarkable to my opinion. This is good medicine, mm -hmm. no doubt yeah. about that. Now, um, we'll talk about side effects and so on in a moment. Yes. What's different uh, for the patient if they're randomized to the pamitumumab arm? What does, extra visits, extra uh, no, because injections? Not what, actually, how does, it, how does no, it work? No, no, no. No, because uh, panitumumab is given every two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, exactly as the for folk chemotherapy. Certainly, there, is more, there are more side effects. Side effects are mostly... Um, uh, involving the skin and the, the cutaneous uh, annexes, I mean, uh, nails, uh, hair, uh, eyelids. Uh, and, but this is typical for EGFR-targeted therapy. And what is good is that uh, patients having clinical benefit in terms of uh, uh, progression-free survival and overall survival are those having side effects. So I understand the side effects is something that patients or doctors do not want, but in this case, a side effect means good result. So and you can uh, reassure your patient, uh, yeah. don't, don't, don't give up on us. Yes, uh, so that the side effects, uh, the cutaneous side effects are uh, good predictors, so mm -hmm. better clinical outcome, and uh, they are independent predictors uh, when compared in the KRAS, uh, to the KRAS status. So, Patients KRAS wild type, so without mutations, still do better if they have uh, cutaneous side effects. 
what is peculiar of Panitumumab as compared to other uh, Panitumumab is fully human, so it does not yeah. contain any murine, any mouse uh, uh, part of it. Uh, as compared to other um, monoclonal antibodies, who still contain a little piece that is murine. So there are very rare uh, infusion-related mm. allergic reactions. Mm. Yeah. And that is good. So so diarrhea? It is, diarrhea? diarrhea is doubling. Mm. Uh, it is doubling uh, so from 10% to 20%. It is manageable in all instances, but uh, it's something that we have to be aware. So the price for improving survival is to have more diarrhea, yes. What happens to the course of the diarrhea and how long is the treatment going on for? Uh, usually, you know, usually there is, uh, you know, once the diarrhea is treated, uh, it's, it's manageable, okay. it stops. You know. okay. And you has never uh, hampered the continuation therapy. Okay. And, and the pamatumumab and yes. the folfox was given right throughout? Uh, until an acceptable toxicity or tumor progression. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. In, in summary, is this now state of the art? Uh, I cannot say that because it has not been approved by. No, I understand. Uh, by but for you, as a as a translational scientist, uh, I think that uh, patients who are for whom you really want to prolong survival, no. yes. Mm -hmm. It's you know this is a question that is also ethical. Sure. Uh, it's a very human question. Mm -hmm. Involves also the willing of the patient. Clearly. Uh, at certain age, uh, the prolongation of survival of three months uh, or four months uh, is not as, as not, does not have the same meaning sure. when the patient is younger or has uh, uh, family responsibilities. Uh, that uh, so it's, d it depends very much on a single uh, on single individuals. So your advice for patients who want to get pamatumumab and folfox is find a clinical trial. For the moment, until the yes, this until, combination yeah. is, ag is agreed yeah, by the right. regulatory yeah. authorities, find a clinical trial and get onto it. Yes, but also once the clinical authorities will approve it, uh, certainly will be an additional weapon that we have to yeah. offer. We can offer the patients to uh, to tell them, yes, this is a therapy that is more aggressive, but uh, can give you more. Yeah. So a patient can say yes or not. I mean, we can something we can work with. Mm -hmm. Professor Siena, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Very really much. appreciate it.